Hey everyone, this is Grace, and this is my next installment of the House Mouse birthday challenge um, entries. And as you can see, Bentley is still on the desk. <laughs> oh, my my little furball is 14, and he likes to get his afternoon naps and his mid morning naps. And anyway. I need to take him out on an outing so he's a little bit more active. But anyway, let me share with you um, these two entries. And these women have decided to shower me with, like, so many crafting goodness. Um, this is from Karina, and this is from Mary. So um, Mary Miller and Karina Aguilar. So let me share with you. And, you know, Karina um, has her own channel. I don't think Mary films. I'll double check. But... I don't think so, because if she did, I've been remiss and have not subscribed to her. So, um, if you do, Mary, I will make sure to subscribe and start watching you. Um, but um, with Karina, she has a fairly active YouTube channel, and in my mind, Karina's considered one of the great, like, bargain queen people. She loves Dr. Seuss really awesome crafter she has an amazing washi collection and and she has an adorable little chihuahua named sandy so anyway let me open up what she sent and then we'll get to mary's and yeah hold on all right so she sent this oh this is adorable karina and she does such a great job of layering i love the balloons it says here have a very nice birthday and on top it says, have a super awesome, full of good stuff, best kind of birthday. This is so cute. And then on the top flap here, she wrote a um, birthday well wish for me. So thank you so much, Karina. This is so adorable. I love it. Butterflies and whatnot. And then the ATC she created was of the little day, um, sun. Is it a daisy or a sunflower? I want to say it's a daisy, but because sunflowers, this is too small for some. Anyway, so take a look at how cute this is. And she created quite a number of elements. So flat back pearls and then a wood veneer cloud. And she puffy painted um, Dream on it. And then she left the back blank. So I just wrote her name down so that I would remember. This is so adorable, Karina. Thank you so much. And she had these two entries in here, and I love the little note um, pad. She is a librarian and is um, just, I love her book fair shares um, because even though I can't physically be there to check out the book fair, it, I get to live vicariously through her videos. So anyway, um, it, like I said, you know, she is the queen of washi tape i feel like because look how adorable this is now karina you know i'm gonna end up using this and putting it on my planner right <laughs> these are so cute but of course they don't have a pomeranian do they at least have a chihuahua nope <sighs> can you believe that karina no chihuahua and no pomeranian what are they thinking anyway check this guy out she created a little pocket letter for Bentley. Oh, you are so sweet. Thank you. Um, let me open it and then I'll share with you my thoughts on pocket letters. Oh my goodness, you guys. Is this not adorable? Like, this is one of those um, prism stickers. Oh, faithful friend. Karina, this is like amazing. There's little Sandy or a rendition of little Sandy. <gasps> and then there's a little rendition of Bentley. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe you created a pocket letter. And then here's, oh, and then look, it's an emery board that's a little puppy. <gasps> Friends forever. And oh, these are vellum. Oh, I love it. I'll have to use those. <gasps> Lots of doggy stickers and oh, washi tape. And oh, these are cute. These are little post its, by the way, guys. And then stickers, and then little, um, I guess, cutouts, and then some sparkle gems from the Dollar Tree. So, Karina, thank you so much. Of course, I'll make sure when the little furball wakes up that he looks at it and realizes that you made it for him. This is absolutely adorable. 
All right, so some of you may have wondered why when I um, switched over to crafting on this channel, I in the past had pocket letter challenges. And don't get me wrong, I loved the pocket letter challenges and the pocket letters that you guys would send. It's so pretty. But the reason why I stopped doing them was because I realized pocket letters, I it takes me forever to make a pocket letter. And I'm thinking, oh man, you know, it's one thing to ask people to send in cards, but pocket letters, because it's like you have to create nine little images, right? And anyway, I didn't want to um, ask people to, you know, spend so much time on pocket letters. So that's why I opted for ATCs and cards, because, you know, not that you take any less time, but you can take less time on cards and ATCs. Does that make sense? Anyway, thank you so much, Karina. I will add that to my pocket letter collection because you know, of course, I have one. <laughs> oh, this is adorable. I love these carousel stickers. Oh my goodness. And I love elephants, so very pretty. Oh, and I love the, can you guys see the gold foiling on this sticker? Very pretty, thank you. And then she sent me a little donut small bag of some goodies. So let's hold on. Let's investigate. All right. Aww. She sent me a bookmark from her book fair. Nap first, work later. I totally approve of that. <laughs> Sentimental. You know what? Um, she sent me a really cute um, bookmark way back when, and um, hold on, actually I have it with me, hold on. This is the bookmark she sent me, just smile and look cute. This is not adorable. And of course you know that there is a doggy theme that she likes to get me because both of us have cute little dogs. And I actually use this for this, you know, this is my prayer journal and I stick this in even though it's got one of these, I like having it here. And it certainly reminds me of Karina every time I look at it, so. This will get much use. Fear not, Karina, you know, I'm always using bookmarks and, you know, I appreciate that you always pick up stuff for me at your book fairs too, so. Oh, you guys, you guys are making me all maudlin and very thankful. I mean, it's a good thing. <laughs> I make it sound like it's a bad thing, huh? And then, oh, this is a lot of good, like, stuff. Like I said, because of you guys, I don't think I need to go back to school shopping. It's a little pencil pouchy. And actually, you know what I think I'm going to do is once I um, pull these things out, I'm going to use this little pencil pouchy for, or plastic pouchy to hold my dies. You know how sometimes some of the dies, um, they're not magnetized and so they kind of fall out of the packaging now. And so, yeah, that's what I, I'm collecting these little plastic pouchies, the clear ones for that purpose. So thank you so much, Karina. And then this one, live your dreams. Oh, this is so pretty. <laughs> and the funny thing was, I was actually going to buy this particular stamp set um, a few weeks ago, too. And I, I told myself, resist, resist. You have way too many stamps and dies. You can't, you should not buy any more. And so I resisted on this one. And oh, thank you. Ha. So it pays to have crafty friends who know your likes and dislikes, huh? Because when you resist, they do not and they gift you such pretty things. So thank you so much for this. All right, let me pause and then shift over to Mary's. Hold on. All right, so I wanted to share with you Mary's um, envelope first. I mean, isn't this great paper? And this is like, I don't know, kind of like a spongy raised dot. It's so cute. <laughs> you guys know I will be reusing this envelope. Um, and these are her two entries. So how cute are these? And do you guys see the dimension on these? And then the painting here. Oh, so cute. And I love the die cut clouds. Did she title this? No, I just wrote um, her name and then the date on the back. And then take a look. Oh my, not saying anything. And then look at all this. Oh, so much dimension. And <laughs> oh my goodness, the chocolate, guys. It's like glazed. Do you guys see that? Oh, yum. I know, I know it's only a card, but seriously, yum. And then inside, oh, this is too cute. And look, you can kind of see the chocolate drip in. Hope your birthday leaves you in a chocolate comatose. 
Oh my goodness, this is so cute. So I wanted to share with you something that, because um, there's a little paper that Mary had typed a note, um, a letter actually, to me. And she was telling me that she did not like the way that her creations came out, but her sister just said, you know what, you made it, just send it to her. Can you imagine? She wasn't going to send these. She didn't think they were nice. And I'm like, oh, they are so cute. I'm like, what is she thinking? What is she, you know, if this is not nice, I don't know what her, Mary, what are your standards? <laughs> Because these are incredibly adorable, and I love the use of browns and pinks. So cute. So, so cute. And look, she even popped up, the little mouse. I know, can you believe that she didn't think these were good enough and that she wasn't going to send them? You guys don't ever think that. And then she totally surprised me by sending me all of this. So, Mary, thank you. I totally would have been through the roof just with these two, but you then totally floored me with these. And you guys, look, it's Muzzy and Amanda, and I have never seen this particular image. Has anyone seen this image? Because look, it's copyright 2018. So my suspicion is that the Stampendous um, company is now bringing out in 2018 more house mouse stamps and happy hoppers and they're using the white um, packaging now instead of the green so so adorable and it's perfect for fall you guys thank you so much mary so awesome and then again this is an image i have not seen but apparently it was back in 2001 and i love this all <laughs> She's like blowing. I, I assume, hmm, I wonder if it's Maxwell. I can't remember their fur colors because you guys know all of my mice are brown right now. <laughs> but, oh, so cute. Thank you so much. Can you believe that? She got me a little post it of house mouse stamps. So, here's the thing these are not going to be used for my college students because they're not going to appreciate it. So, I will most likely use these to write little notes to you guys. Because I know you will appreciate the house mouse. <laughs> oh, goodness. This is Perfect Partner Mockingbird Hill Collection. Oh, so pretty. Oh, this is so pretty. I love the little tobogganing sled and the snowman. Oh, and the Christmas tree. You guys, can you imagine all the different, um, like, cutting the Christmas out in multiples and just creating, like, a forest of them? Oh, Thank you so much.